let's label triangles correctly for use with the sine and cosine rule. Now you'll notice here we've got sides in lowercase letters and angles in uppercase letters. That's because sides, you use lowercase letters to represent them and angles, you use uppercase letters to represent them. And if you can't remember which one's which, just remember this little A here, it looks a bit like an angle. So each angle has its corresponding side. So we've got firstly, if we use this angle here as angle A, then its corresponding side is opposite it. And we'll write the side as A, a lowercase a, because we write sides in lowercase and angles in uppercase. Secondly, we'll show angle B, which I'm going to write here. So uppercase B, and then the side is opposite it, which is here, so lowercase b. Finally, the third side, obviously we've got angle C, which is here, and then opposite that, we've got side C, which is a lowercase. One thing worth noting is you may not always see these angle letters on the inside. In fact, usually they're written on the outside to represent point A, B, and C. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, tune in to the next one.